I'm Dave Rowley. I'm the Education Programme Director now in South Africa. I joined Andy Green for his John Orr lecture series. The aim of the lecture series was obviously to impart information about the Bloodhound Project and to let people know about the associated education programme. There is a world shortage of engineers, so the Bloodhound Project is being welcomed with open arms. Well, we actually don't want this water school kids turning up and just watching them explode as they get shot by So we started off in Johannesburg, then we went to Kimberley, then down to Cape Town, Port Elizabeth and finally Durban. But interspersed within those lectures were meetings with the press, we had a media morning that was also attended by the Premier of the Northern Cape and we had amazing interest from the media. 1,600 kilometres an hour is for painting and there are awesome opportunities for young people to attend presentations. But also we visited a couple of schools, one in Kimberley who have been involved with a project called Wheels in Motion uh, and again it's trying to get young people to look at the science, engineering and maths behind projects and that was to build uh, a car. The reception we were given at the Bootsmere Primary School, which is the nearest school to Huxkin Pan, well, was just amazing. It's the biggest thing that's happened to the school uh, and to the head teacher who was passionate about the project. Uh, they were also given a, a laptop. And uh, Glutmere is now twinned with Harwood Meadows Primary School in Bolton in Lancashire. So that's the first twinning arrangement that we have between a UK school and a South African school. And we're beginning now to get schools signing up saying, please, can we link with a school in South Africa? We also visited the PAN uh, to see just how the work was going on. Uh, and an awful and a lot of it has been completed now. And it's provided employment for over 300 people from the local uh, villages and uh, towns. That's been funded through the Northern Cape Provincial Government and without their support we probably wouldn't have a run site. They are very much behind the education programme as well, uh, not only with the Bloodhound project but they, their other aim is to have a higher education institution. They are the only province in the Northern Cape without higher education. So again, having a project as visible as Bloodhound will help with the push to actually get higher education in the Northern Cape. Andy was made a very special uh, gift uh, and it was uh, a model of the car done in beadwork, which is a very South African thing, and it was done by a special school. We were staying at uh, the Malopo Lodge and I went to see the local bushman and as I was walking towards him he saw my bloodhound shirt and his first words to me was where was the car? Well my plans over the next 18 months are to build up the education programme in South Africa. So I've already got five ambassadors. My target is to get 30 by the end of this year. Going out to schools, promoting the project and getting them involved like we do in the UK where ambassadors go in and do the balloon car uh, project or just to raise the visibility by telling them about the science, the maths and the technology behind the project. Time to go for a beer yet? I think so. <laughs> I've recorded that. <laughs> They'll dub it out, it'll be fine. <laughs>